Hey, y'all, what's up? This disciple Marcello Currents rain back up in this anti-Illuminati all day. So this video basically is going to be about worrying about protecting a false image of integrity of America rather than protecting children. Worried about protecting America, not protecting children. See, with the 44 states married children revealed and Donald Trump just passing a law three years ago, just now three years ago, July 1st, 2019, that allows adults to marry children at any age. It says no minimum age, which means people can marry down to single digit ages of, of children, nine, eight, and seven. Um, there's going to be people that want to protect America at all costs. So see, you can't have your cake and eat it too. Now that you know this information and you try to fight me, you have decided to not protect children more than protecting America. I'm gonna let that resonate. You have just decided not to protect children more than protecting America. You can't, you can't, you can't play both sides in no situation. That's why my situation is absolute. I told you, I don't ride with America. Once I found out 44 states is marrying children and they've been playing around people like me and other people, playing all these psychological pedophile entrapment games where they throw pedophile witches and warlocks and telepaths and even mind, they have mind technology to throw pedophilia uh, images to your mind. And then you got 44 states marrying children. Buddy, that's, buddy, I don't ride with you no more. And that's all I got to tell you. Now, I don't have to explain nothing else. I close my, I can close my book right there. You are marrying children by law. But yet, you're always crying about somebody playing with children sexually. You're always crying. But that's why, that's why this is happening to you. It'd be one thing if you was not concerned about pedophiles, like you act like you do, like you are. It would be one thing if you're not all around talking about sexual abuse this, sexual abuse that, all these commercials on TV talking about sexual abuse. But yeah, you got 44 states married children. Why don't you put a commercial up about that? Yeah. You're trying to get compensation for sexual victims, but you still got 44 states married children. That's like in the South, we call that putting a cart before the horse. That's what we call that. Putting the cart before the horse, meaning things that, that, you know, are out of priority. Okay. The first priority you should have concerning protecting children should be overturning the law of 44 states married children. That's where you start at, not where you end at. Not where you end at. You don't end there. You start there. Okay? If you're slow, say you're slow. So we can get past talking to you. Let's talk to some smart people that understand you can't go out here thinking you're doing something, protecting children, and you've got 44 states blanket, blanketed over your country. It's a blanket of 44 states marrying children. So with all your endeavors of protecting children and all your little operations and all the way you pat yourself on the back like I'm such a good person because I like to protect children, you're not really doing that. You're not really that person that you think you are. Neither is your country. When you got 44 states marrying children. Yeah, I'm on it. I'm on it to you real to you realize this reality. Do you realize where this country is at? I'm going to keep saying it and keep saying it. This is called a campaign for the slow people. They call it this, that, and the third. They call it me rambling. They call it me repeating myself because you're slow. Let's just call it what it is. You're a slow individual. Okay. I am campaigning. Okay. My campaign has been complete, but I'm still in essence campaigning. You know what campaigning does? You know what campaigner do? Campaigners do? They go city to city, town to town, talking about the same thing and the same subjects and the same issues at hand. And the issue at hand right now is 44 states marrying children. Yeah, if you're slow, say you're slow. You don't know what I'm talking about. You don't know what I'm doing, actually. You don't know what my method is. 
Okay, so you can't have your cake and eat it, too. If you are out here talking about, well, you see, some people going to say, well, there was a civil war. You had some Americans over this side and some Americans on this on that side. Not this time. That not this time. It's no way in the world you can be standing with America when they got 44 states married children. It's no way. It's no justification. That means you're outside of America. You're not another part of America. Let me let that resonate. Let me let that resonate. You're not a part of any part of America at all when they got 44 states married children. This is a civil war time. That's what you could do. That's the slow people talk. Thank you. Thank you for everybody. This is not a civil war. This is people here that were formerly American citizens departing from America because they're, they're marrying children in 44 states. That's what this is. We are no part of it. No, not, not. This ain't, I'm not America at all. Does that make sense? This is not, so therefore, this is not a civil war among Americans. This is people departing from America. Let me let that resonate while I get my food. It ain't two sides. It's, it's no. I'm not. With, I'm not. I'm not with them at all. I'm not an American. Okay. So it's not a civil war. If you know that this system is having sex with children in 44 states and then run around here like John Wayne playing with people, that's a death sentence. You shouldn't even want to stand with a country. If you're FBI, if you're a uh, military, how can you serve a country that's marrying children? How can you serve a country that's marrying children, having sex with children? And this is passed by law. Donald Trump just passed a law that allows adults to marry children. He had to see the law. Whether whoever, whatever is the part of the is the, uh, the government that passed the law, Donald Trump still seen the law. That's the bottom line as the president. He's seen it. He had to review it. Go Google that. The president has to review these the laws that are passed. So he's seen it. That's the bottom line. The bottom line is Donald Trump seen this law July 1st that was passed July 1st, 2019 that allows adults to marry children at any age here in America. This law was just passed a year before COVID. Okay, so he, he him being the president, you know, he's seen the law. Okay, he's seen it, whether he passed it, whether he was part of getting it passed. He's seen the law, and that's the bottom line. So that's for all these Trump supporters. All you Trump supporters, how Donald Trump is in office as the president, commander-in-chief, and they pass on laws he's not aware of. I'm not talking about passing laws. He's passing all the laws. I don't know about all that. But one thing is for certain. He was aware of this law. He's seen it, Okay. He's seen the content of this law as the president. That we do know. You don't even have to be a lawyer to know that. He seen it, he it, it, look. He's the president. He was the president. He's seen all laws. Okay, that's the bottom line. Stop playing. Stop playing. He's seen it. You, the commander in chief, you're getting all type of bulletins about laws. I'm not saying he went down and, 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 and you know, and went through a, a three hour hearing about the law, but he at least got an email. He at least got a bulletin. Let's keep it 100. He got something. And that's what I'm saying. He got something indicating that he, this law was going to be passed. That's all I need. I know that I am intelligent enough to know that he at least got something concerning this law when he was, the, the, the present administration when this law was passed. He got something on it. He got an email, a bulletin, or something. That's the bottom line. Okay? There's nothing else to talk about here. So that being said, that's for all the Trump supporters. What we have here now is an America that 
uh, has sex with children. Now, you. so what part of America are you going to be a part of? Let me let that resonate. Um, what part? There is no other part. There's the only the 44 states married children part. There's only the July 1st, 2019, 20 states allowing adults to marry children at any age part. That's the only part there is. The age of consent being under 18 and 40 states. That's all it is. What other part are you going to be a part of? So how is it a civil war when that's the only part? What other part is there? Is there another government? That's why this, we win this war. These laws were passed by the government. The last one was passed by Donald Trump. So how? So what other part are you supposed to be part of? What other part of America do you supposed to be part of? Okay? Coming out means you're out of America. You ain't got no government. You ain't got no system. You have nothing. You have no system. With the Civil War, they had two systems, right or wrong. So where's your system? Outside of 44 states married children. Hey, you had the, the Confederates, they had a system. You had the, the, the Northerners, they had a system. Where's your system that makes you say, this is a civil war? How is it a civil war when you have no system? <laughs> the only system is 44 states married children. The only system is the age of consent under 18 in 40 states. Now you see where I'm going with this? The only system is July 1st, 2019, 20 states allows adults to marry children at even down to single digit ages. That's the only system you have. Therefore, if you come out of that and oppose that, you are out of America. Let me let that resonate. See, what you want to do is say, well, well, I love America. Well, you love, well, let's define what America is. Let's define what America is. America is 44 states married children. Okay. I mean, you can't separate this part. I know you want to do it. I know you want to, but you can't do it. You can't separate this part. You can't say, well, I want to ignore that part. No. When it's passed by government, no. So you love, so what you love, what do you love then? You say you love America. Now, you see, this is where you need to real what you need to realize. You have been loving a country that has never had the age of consent at 18 in all 50 states. That's what you've been loving. You've been loving the country that got 44 states married children. That's what you've been loving. This is reality. Am I talking something out of reality? Am I talking some space cadet, cloud nine kind of information to you? Am I doing that? So if I'm not doing that, why are you acting like I'm talking like this is not the reality of your country? It is the reality of your country. Okay, so so you love a country that allows adults to marry children at no minimum age. And that was passed by Donald Trump. That's what you love. That's what you love. You can't say, oh, I love America and not take this part. You have to. When it's passed by the government, these laws are passed by the government. It's not wayward people. These are laws passed by the government. You can't say you love a certain portion of America and not ex it, it, without excluding this. So in other words, when you say you love America, you also talk about 44 states married children. Hey, that's too much of a big portion, man. That's 44 states with child marriage. So when you say you love America, you have to accept the good with the bad. You can't be just talking about, oh, I love the good part of America. You got to love, you, if, when you love someone or something, you're loving it in its entirety. Anybody, anyone around here halfway loving someone? So if you're loving someone that's a, a pedophile, then you love a pedophile, right? 
This is the best way I can tell you. If you're loving a pedophile, someone that is an adult having sex with children, or let's just say you got a, a pedophile in your country, in your in your family, that's married to a child, right? You can't say you either have two options. Even though that's a family member, you love them, you loved them all your life, you have to depart from them because they're married to a child. Or you love them as a pedophile married to a child. It's the same thing. You can't be like, well, I love, I love, I love my, my, my family member, but I don't accept that part. Nah, nah, it's too strong. It's too much of a disgust, a disgusting evil for you to be in alliance with anyone, even a family member that would be married to a child. Okay. You can't be in alliance with that. Anybody will be in alliance with that. So then why are you in alliance with America and they up there marrying children in 44 states? You wouldn't be in, you wouldn't be in alliance with a family member. So why are you in alliance with America? Why are you still here talking about I love America? Then you have to take the good, the bad, and the ugly. This, this is how serious it is. Because, you know, y'all say, well, I'm not a part of that. So then what system is you a part of? That's what I'm asking. If you're not a part of that and you still talk about you're a part of America, how are you how are you maneuvering? How are you navigating with that being said? How are you doing that? How are you going about navigating? Explain it to me. Explain to me how you're navigating with 44 states married children. Explain to me. This is reality, by the way. Why they're trying to play mind games with you. Why their government and community is playing little Mickey Mouse mind games, little McDonald mind games, Ronald McDonald mind games, looking like complete suckers. We got 44 states on them. Yeah. You playing that, that little foolishness you're doing, man. Man, we got whole we got whole laws over here. We got whole laws on these people. What you man, you you think that's messing with us? Really? You can't be serious, man. <laughs> you can't be serious. Bruh, save that for the amateurs. Ain't none of that working over here. And it, it, look, you're either with America or you with you are with those who have already departed from America national as a, as a nationality. We have it's so much, it's this this is so horrible that we either are with them or not. This is not extreme. I'm not talking like an extremist. How are you going to be with them? How am I an extremist? How? What system are you going to follow outside of 44 states marrying children? Let me let that resonate. What system are you going to follow here in America? That's outside of 44 states that has child marriage. What are you going to follow? What are you what what system are you going to support? Where are you going to put your money at? Where are you going to put your power at? Where are you going to put your influence at? Now you see what I'm saying. You have no choice if you're a part of America to be putting your power, influence and money back into the system that is 44 states with child marriage. You, you what else are you doing? Now you see what I'm saying? This is the end. And we're going to see who's who right now. You got 44 states married children and you waving flags. You, you know on that flag there's 44 stars. Those are 50 stars. 44 stars got child marriage on them star spangled uh star spangled banner, banner flags. I know you don't want to hear it, do you? I know you want to live in a false reality. I know. Yeah, you do. But every time you're waving that flag, you got 44 stars on there that's marrying children, baby. (laughs) 
hey, why you got a flag hat on or a flag shirt on? Are you girls wearing booty shorts with flags on them? 44 stars on your booty got child marriage. Hey, I'm just keeping winding with you. I know all these girls got the, uh, you know, all these spandex, you know, they got all these little little pants where they're wearing flags on them. American flags on them. 44 states on them flags is married children, big baby. What can you say about that? You can't, you got to understand, it's time to depart. You should have knew this was going to happen. You think Christians and righteous people are going to be able to stand with the likes of Donald Trump and the people that he represents America. Whether you accept it or not, Americans put that man in the White House. Whether you accept it or not, they put him in the White House. He represents America, and he still represents America, and America represented him. Hey, they're going out wearing the matter hats. You got rappers talking about they like Donald Trump. Ignorant as I don't know what. When he got July 1st, 2019, child marriage in 20 states that allows adults to marry children at any age. And you got rappers supporting that. Yeah, you come to your end, man. See, see what you thought was in your arrogance that you could just do any and everything. How about now? How do you feel about that now? How confident are you that you can just do anything? Huh? How, conf- how confident are you now? When you see that your country got monkeypox, now people are starting to visibly show themselves with it. Yeah, and for people to think monkeypox is not going to be a problem, people that think that, people that think it's not going to be a problem, I'm going to tell you, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a psychological problem. It's going to be a psychological problem because people are going to lose their looks. It's going to get all in your face. It's going to be all in your face, all in your arms, and some people ain't going to never lose those marks. Monkeypox is going to scar some people for life. Let me let that resonate. It's going to scar some people for life. Why you think, why they telling you it ain't like COVID? <laughs> it's going to do its own thing. You ain't going to be able to work. How are you going to work with monkeypox? Oh, you forgot about, you ain't think about that. Because you don't think. How are you going to work at a restaurant where people are dining and you have monkeypox, you think they're going to let you work? So the more people that get monkeypox, they're going to be unemployed. Who's going to who's gonna let somebody work and be around the public with monkeypox? Who's going to take that chance? It's going to be visible, very visible. You ain't going to be able to hide that. It's one thing if you don't know your COVID status. It's another thing to see you coming with monkeypox. See, you're a mile away. That part. Yeah, that's coming, baby. Ain't nobody playing no games. I'm on it 24-7, baby. That's called warfare. That's not called obsession. That's called warfare. Yeah, you ain't in a real war. That's why you don't know what it is. (laughs) That part. Yeah. Nobody playing no games. Yeah. That's what's wrong with you, Americans. You're so docile. You don't know how to go to war. You think that what you're doing going out there to war, you think that's war? War is COVID-19 and monkeypox. That's war, buddy. War is inflation and mass shootings. That's war. That little foolishness you're doing ain't nothing, buddy. I'm just letting you know, because while you're doing what you're doing, people still dying. (laughs) That part. Like in real time. Not in your mind. Not psychologically dying. In real time, they're dying. Why you think you're doing something? Because you're Mickey Mouse. You're Mickey Mouse to me. You're a cartoon, in other words. You're a cartoon to me. You're in a dream world, man. What you doing? What you think you're doing out there? 
I mean, let's be real. Let's be real. That ain't you ain't doing nothing. That's real. It's all in your head. It's always been all in your head. Fake America, this false America, this America you think exists, that's been in your head. The real America is 44 states married children, big baby. That's the real, that's the real America. You should have knew not to play with no man that been coast to coast, all up and down America. I'm more, I'm more stronger than you. I'm nationwide. Why you local? Oh, yeah, you didn't think about that, did you? I'm nationwide. I'm a national person. You're local. I'm way stronger than you. In your own country, I'm more American than you. Woman, how are you more American than me when you're local? How are you more American than me when I done seen more parts of America than you did? I done seen everything. And you want to play with me? You're local. I'm nationwide. Keep that in mind, partner. All you John Wayne guys, keep that in mind. You a Texan. I'm, I'm nationwide. You can't beat this. Yeah, I know. They got the little cities and states and the ones that think they're tough, whether it's New York or some other city. I'm nationwide, big baby. I got fighting styles, in other words, that you don't have. I got fighting styles that you can't see. I know, I know. You thought you was the man. You thought New York was the, was, was the top. Not to no nationwide person. Nationwide tops New York, big baby. Hey, nation, New York can't take on the whole country, man. You can't. Therefore, if someone is nationwide compared to your lo- your local you local New Yorkers, you can't beat them. I'm too I'm too strong for that foolishness you're doing, man. You can't be serious, bro. The bottom line is you got another plague. You got monkeypox on the horizon. Since you've been playing with me. Uh, go check, go check, go check the news and see what's going on. You got monkeypox, you got mass shootings, you got inflation, and you got gas prices. That's for all you people that like the game start riding around. That's for you, big baby. That's for you, big baby. You like to ride around the game start. How you feel about them gas prices? Why you like to drive around, drive up and down the neighborhoods? How you feel about them gas prices? I'm going to let that resonate. That's for you, big baby. Yeah, you kept riding around like it's all like you like you riding. What you think you sliding? <clears throat> hey, they think they sliding. I told you it's all in their head, man. Whether it's from forty-four states married children, they don't they don't know that, and they got this fake reality of America. I see that the fake reality of America, or they think they tough. It's all in their head. When, when people like me are showing you actual results, that part, I'm showing you stuff that's happening. Why they thinking about it? I'm doing it. That part. That's what I'm saying. And you got 44 states married children, and you can't be with America, and they doing that. I'm sorry. You can't be. You can't be. So you're either with children, protecting children, or you with America. Which one? You're either with protecting children, or you're with America with 44 states married children. This is the, look, bro. Look, the rubber is meeting the road. There's an American cliche for you. The rubber is meeting the road. That's a, that's a good American cliche for you. The rubber's meeting the road, baby. You got 44 states married children. You got Donald Trump just passing the law. Now, you either with child protectors. You either about preserving your children. Or, or you with them supporting them. When they got 44 states married children. 
You can't have your cake and eat it too. I know. You so fake. You 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 gotta play both sides. Yeah, you feeling what I'm saying, but you at the same time, you listening to them too. What they got to say? I ain't got that. What, what I mean? Let's be one hundred. What do they have to say? Let's let's hear Joe Biden try to explain forty four states with child marriage. Let me let that resonate. Let's hear let's hear let's hear uh, Kamala Harris try to explain forty four states marrying children. Let's hear all your favorite rappers try to explain forty four states with child marriage. Let's 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 hear all these uh, thugs and gangsters in the community explain forty four states marriage children baby. Explain thug or gangster or killer. Explain forty four states marriage children be baby. Explain that. You you thorough as you thorough as they come, huh? Big baby. Big bye bye. <laughs> you thorough as they come, huh? Then then big killer, big thug, big gangster. Explain to me forty four states having child marriage. Explain that to me. Now I know some on my side, but I'm talking about the ones riding around like it's all good, riding around like you politicking. But how you politicking around me, bro? Bro, I'm above politics at this point. You don't see that? How am I in politics? Y'all in politics, not me. 